The following program was recorded at ARC Advisory Group's annual World Industry Forum in Orlando, Florida. I'm pleased to welcome ARC President and CEO, Andy Chetta. Hello, we are here with uh, Alan Corrali, VP of Operations of Bentley Systems. We are going to talk about what Bentley System is doing in the area of asset management. Welcome, Alan. Thank you, Andy. Last year here, uh, Greg Bentley introduced uh, your new asset management product called AssetWise. W could you tell us what are you trying to accomplish with that product? A absolutely. Uh, Bentley has done very well offering products for use in design and engineering, uh, what we like to call highly, enge highly engineered infrastructure assets. And what AssetWise is all about is providing a, a suite of products to continue to use the information that was generated in those design engineering processes throughout the life of the asset to uh, sustain it and to operate it. Could you tell us a little bit, uh, now you have had this product for a year, uh, how are you progressing with it? Yeah, I think uh, two things. First, internally, we've, uh, <coughs> uh, last year we announced some acquisitions, so we've integrated uh, those companies' assets and IP into Bentley. We've organized our product factory just for AssetWise. Uh, we've aligned services with that. And uh, this week we announced our, our first release of EB Insight under the Bentley banner, which is the basis of our platform for asset lifecycle information management. So what are the key core elements of AssetWise product? Uh, it's based on a, an, an open platform that uh, provides the means to, to model the asset information with the built-in processes to keep it at a high level of integrity and to work with other enterprise systems. And we've packaged it in a way that it scales both in terms of capacity but also in terms of fitting into an organization's enterprise architecture so they can use as little or as much as appropriate for the systems they have or even where they are in, in their maturity of, of asset lifecycle management. You know, Bentley Systems, they acquired a product called EB. Could you tell us, uh, you know, what does uh, EP technology bring to this product? Right, so uh, EB, uh, that was uh, the company I was the CEO of. Uh, we brought uh, a technology base that was both modern uh, on, on the latest technologies as well as proven in the nuclear industry for asset lifecycle management. And we've been able to take the Bentley expertise in projects and designs around assets and, and really expand that feature set even in the first year. I understand you have just uh, released a new uh, release yes. of this product. Uh, uh, what are you trying to accomplish with this release? What new features and functions did you add to it? Uh, quite, quite a lot. I would highlight uh, some around the area of, of, of large project management so that uh, uh, <clears throat> the users of the product can model multiple projects or multiple plants in their fleet in the, in the same system, which really helps with standardization of, of processes. And then commercially, we've adopted, obviously, the Bentley licensing model, which is a trust model, and now we're able to offer the solution at, under a subscription basis, which is very, very attractive for, for rollouts where people aren't exactly sure how many people will be using it in a given year. Mm -hmm. Are you offering some other uh, applications uh, along with this product uh, to enhance it uh, and so forth? A absolutely. Uh, it's a, it's a multi-year uh, initiative for us. Really, the next steps is to start releasing out-of-the-box products for specific business processes. Uh, we have a couple of those today in nuclear, for example, for corrective action, but we want to come out with more around uh, like right-of-way permitting on roadways. Uh, in rail, we've, we've learned a lot with our rail customers that we can come up with like safety and incident reporting type ready-to-use products that will be based on this platform. You know, over the past uh, couple of months, uh, we uh, have a collaboration where we are doing a, a, a series of webcasts. Uh, and could you tell us uh, how does uh, uh, AssetWise align with our series and where does it fit in in, in the uh, four-part series? Yeah, I've really enjoyed uh, participating in those. The, the, uh, all the ARC writings around asset lifecycle management really speak to us. In fact, uh, 
Um, I, was, I had just been introduced to ARC last year, and uh, those white papers really gave us a lot of structure of what our customers have been making us do. And so we're just finding a lot of, uh, a lot of interest in the webinars, especially around the core issues of, of relating this information around uh, these large assets uh, from, a, from an information management perspective. Do you have some customers now already using this product? Uh, could you tell us a little bit about them or what they are trying to accomplish? Uh, absolutely. Uh, we've had uh, several early adopters uh, of this even particular release we just announced. Uh, one is Constellation Energy that's using uh, EV Insight to manage their master equipment list across their fleet of all their reactors. And that's integrated into EB's corrective action for incidents against those assets. And then we are integrated into their work maintenance systems and others. Uh, a very exciting and interesting one for me is in the UK. There's a project called Crossrail, which is a, a new subway that's going under uh, London. And all of that project work has been, the design and innovation has been done in Bentley products. And last year we started managing the flow of that information out to contractors and will continue to become the records management system. And there'll be just this very easy handover to operations uh, in, the, in about five or six years when they're finished. It's pretty. Could you also tell us a little bit about your future direction? Uh, what could we expect for you eventually to add to it uh, next year or the year after, uh, maybe a five year down yeah. the road? Uh, what sort of future do you see? Yeah, I think besides the, what we think are very important the out of the box, so to speak, applications, really leveraging our, our knowledge of engineering content. So later this year, even we're coming out with overlaying operations type information on top of the 3D models that are open. So what you can expect for us is, is more interoperability, more ways of getting information out of any system that comes from and leveraging that information not only for use but to help you visualize and, and get to more of a business decision uh, type usage of the information as opposed to just storing it for uh, audit trail. Alan, uh, uh, thanks a lot uh, for your views uh, on what you're doing in the area of asset management. I appreciate the time, Andy, and look forward with uh, working with ARC in the coming years. We have been speaking with uh, Alan Corrali, VP of Operations, Bentley Systems, about uh, what they are doing in the area of asset management.